How's it going, you guys? So today, in this episode of Hog Squad, I will be heading out to go bounce ball for how a bit. I've never done it before, so we're gonna see how we do. I mean, I don't know much about bounce balling. I'm trying to learn this technique because I really want to get good in the halibut game and bounce balling is the way to go, as I've heard, because you can work, cause basically bounce balling versus drifting. Drifting, you can only work so much ground with your drifts, while bounce balling, you can work a lot more ground. And what I mean by this is when you're bounce balling, if you're bounce balling a hole, so the holes, there's like these little holes where it gets deeper and that's where a lot of halibut hang out of, hang out on. And um, you bounce ball, you can work all the edges, work all the way around the hole while drifting, you kind of have to drift through and you're missing a lot of ground. So that's why bounce balling is a good technique to have and I'm working on learning it. So yeah, guys, I will catch you on the water. Peace. Heavy. Yeah, bass. Bass alert. That's a good sand bass, dude. Look at him. First fish on the bounce wall. Let's keep it grinding. There it is. Do not come off. Do not come off. Yo, wheels, one on the wheel, dude. Is it yeah. Oh, dude. It's good. Whatever it is. Be huh? slow, be slow, be slow, be slow. It's a bass. No halibut. Get in that, get in that. It's a good one. Good halibut. Net. net. So watch out, watch out. You're gonna throw it right. The net is below. The net. Is it close? Yeah. Ryan, you wanna get the net? It's <laughs> yeah. It's like down below. Let's go, boys. First halibut on the bounce ball. Scoop him. He's in. He's in the boat. At least we got one. How big do you think he is? He might be close. 18. 18. Let's go. Boom. Don't you take the wheel. Take care of this troll. That, no trouble on that one, Ken. Straight single? Straight single. Nice. Halibut. I'll give him the measure. Alright, let's see how big he is. 20 inches. One inch off. Two inches off. What did I say? 18? Yeah. Okay, one. All right, guys, so running that bounce ball rig. I'll show you what we're doing here in a second, but first half of the day, it's about 20 inches, not legal, sadly. But look at that, gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish, nice size fish. Fought pretty hard on the bounce ball. And yeah, guys, this is what we're targeting. So hopefully we can get a legal fish. I mean, that's what we're after, so you. Dude. All right, guys, basically what we're doing right now, we're hitting that bounce ball for these halibut. This is my first time bounce balling. I've never done it before, so we're trying to we're basically figuring it out as we go. So you want to stay like under a mile an hour, or like a little bit, like one mile an hour to like under. That's what we found out and heard. So we got buckets out to slow us down. You see right here, these buckets are doing a pretty good job at it. Slowing us down, not a lot, but just a little bit. And then we got and these tilted rod holders right here. Because we we're told you kind of want, ideally, you want the rod to be flat. People were saying like these rod holders that um, they come up like this, the rod just lays flat. But we're really working on it here. And I mean, we got one halibut so far, some sand bass. We had some off camera sand bass who are like that big. So I, I took off the stinger hook and I still got that halibut as you guys saw, because I don't want to catch a little sand bass on like a little stinger hook, you know? So we'll see what keeps happening. I mean, we're just using sardines at the bottom right now. So yeah, guys, see what's happening. That fish? Oh. Bass. 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 
smell that. I smell that. Oh, I know. I do. I smell my body. Woo! Heads up, heads up. Big bass. Bass number dose. Little spawning sand bass. I guess it's gone. I think he's got it. Don't get too excited now, Rob. Oh, I ain't jumping the gun. I don't think he took it. That was an eat. Stop. Got him. How'd he come off? No! Oh, he's running at me. He's running at me. Okay, reverse, reverse. I got him, I got him, I got him. There he is. He's running right at me. Halibut on. Or what is that? That's not a halibut, is it? Oh, a shark. Dude, a shark. <laughs> Dude, a smoothie. What the hell? shark in the boat. Oh my god. So we went for a halibut drift now. We're in the Harnington Harbor in a spot where I like to catch halibut. And I caught a shark. I thought I'm picking at it. He didn't really commit, but oh yeah, chill buddy. Oh my god. Absolute foul play. Absolute foul play. Bro, what are you doing? All right, pass me those flyers. Here. She's here. Nice. All right, look at that, guys. Smooth hound shark. Whoa, he's swinging at me. This is my first ever shark on the boat, but pretty cool. Smooth hound. Cool. Cartilaginous. I'm gonna grab it and throw it. But it just makes them relax. You rub their nose, it makes them relax. That's cat. Dude. Struggling? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, look at that thing. Beautiful. Beautiful shark while trying to catch a halibut. Release. Yeah. Alright guys, before I get into the outro, whoever drops the best comment or like funniest comment, like whatever, I don't even care. I will favorite it and I will give you these because we got the wrong rig for bounce ball. I actually I ordered these on Amazon. It's just a bunch of halibut drift rigs, I think a ton of them. And if you guys want it, drop a really good comment below. And yeah, so let's get into that outro. Anyways, it was it was good fishing. I mean, for my first time bounce balling, we got one halibut that was like 20, 21 inches. Not a bad fish, and a bunch of sand bass. I really need to learn how to get away from those sand bass because we got harassed by them that whole time, and we got one halibut. But I'm thinking next time I go out, I'm gonna make mackerel and just stay away from the sardines, make bigger baits, so that way the halibut can do that. But if you guys have any suggestions below, I really don't know much about balance pulling. I've heard that you need to get a flat rod holders. I've heard that you need to go under a mile an hour. But if you have any suggestions below, comment that, because we need your help. I'm learning this balance pulling thing, and I can't find much on it. And the guys I talk to don't really say, say much, so if you're good at balance pulling, let me know what's up. But yeah, guys, overall, great time on the water, you know, we caught fish, caught the halibut. So that was huge. That was huge, obviously. We targeted a fish with a new method never really done before and succeeded. So this was huge. And yeah, guys, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? And um, yeah, go get yourself some merch to support the channel. Gas prices are higher than ever right now. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Peace.